latest on this developing event, Cyclone Kenny is moving over Fiji at this time. As of 12 noon, Fiji time, April the 10th, it had winds of 75 miles an hour, that's around 120 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of around 974 millibars. It's at 18.4 degrees south, 176.7 degrees east. Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, Category 3 on the Australian scale used by Fiji. Looking at the forecast, the storms are expected to pass through very quickly and by tomorrow morning, by the looks of things, or even tonight, it will have cleared Fiji and will be moving on to southern Tonga, which is also under a cyclone warning right now. Uh, by 48 hours from now, it will be long gone away from all of these islands, hopefully. It will be a brisk pace that this storm is setting uh, and right now, it is just off the coast of Fiji with hurricane force winds. Uh, there it is, stage 3 on the CDPS scale right now, significant damage potential, and as you can see the wind field extends over uh, most, if not all, of Viti Levu, the biggest island there. Cyclone warning in effect for all of Fiji expect, except Vanua Levu, east of Lombasa, and for southern Tonga. Looking at the forecast uh, over the next few days, or at its closest point, which is imminent really, there's the chances of tropical storm conditions and the chances of hurricane conditions. Some of the islands south of uh, Viti Levu uh, will experience most likely hurricane conditions and that will be the worst affected area. Rain-wise, the storm could cause some flooding issues, especially the further south you are uh, in relation to Fiji and in southern Tonga as well. Uh, the capital which was struck by Cyclone Gita, of course, uh, in the crosshairs once again, I'm afraid. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm until the storm passes well to the south of all of those islands, Tonga being the last port of call, most likely there, 27 degrees near there. Here's the sheer map, and you can see Fiji, the cyclone is not depicted on this graphic. Um, it is a little bit out of date as well, but the general picture still remains. High wind shear on the way for this storm. Uh, some of the models hinting that there could be a significant window for intensification. We'll keep our eye on that one, but wind shear at the moment not looking promising for Kenny. Uh, so you can see where the eye of the storm would be there, just to the southwest of uh, Nadi, really. Um, and it will be passing, by the looks of things, maybe uh, 50 kilometers maximum to the southwest of the main island and then continuing off towards the southeast. It's moving at around uh, 20 kilometers per hour, around 15 miles per hour, um, which is a significant speed and it's likely to accelerate over the course of the next 24 hours. Stay tuned for more updates on this channel. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with the latest on the current situation. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13, all in text. You can also follow us on Facebook, like our page, under the same name, and follow our account on Twitter. Uh, the handle is at Force 13, if you'd like to get involved on there. You can also find me on Skype, Force 13, and my personal account on Discord, search Fool 13 at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat and more regional updates on our Force 13 Australia and Oceania channel.